Lucasfilm's newest publishing initiative, The High Republic, is well underway, with six books and three comics currently available to read, with many more stories in the near future. The High Republic era was a period of time that lasted for around 200 years, between approximately 300 BBY and 82 BBY, in which the Galactic Republic was said to be at, at its height. It was also a golden age for the Jedi, who were significantly more active throughout the galaxy, in a time of of expansion and exploration in the Outer Rim territories. The High Republic era is a blank slate, hundreds of years away from the Skywalker saga. It's a brand new era that gives the writers an opportunity to tell almost any story they want without having to adhere to the strict regulations of canon for stories set in a time when there is already a beginning and end. Taking place hundreds of years before The Phantom Menace, the galaxy is less developed allowing readers to learn more about the Republic and the galaxy in its younger years. Hyperspace is developed in fascinating ways, and we see the impact of the Jedi on the frontier worlds as the Republic continues to grow during a time without war. The Sith have been extinct for hundreds of years, meaning that the era offers a new type of villain. We don't get more lightsaber battles between Jedi and Sith, battles that we've seen dozens of times throughout the Skywalker saga. Instead, the Drangir and the Nile pose a threat to the Republic and the Jedi. Both are unique in their own ways, with the Drangir being sentient plants strong in the dark side of the forest, and the Nile being a group of cunning marauders willing to do whatever it takes to achieve their goals. Marky and Roe in particular has been a great addition to the era, and his strategy and influence make the Nile much more than just a gang of pirates. The Jedi are much more in tune with the Force and the people during this era, and we've already begun to see their fall. It's already been told that these stories will show why the Jedi are the way they are in the prequel trilogy with their much more strict nature. The High Republic displays true Jedi when the Order is still made up of peacekeepers who are focused on doing good rather than following the Jedi Code. The Republic is at its height of power during the era, and readers get to see a Chancellor and a government with minimal corruption. Chancellor Lena So is drastically different from the two Chancellors we've seen already. She doesn't stay on Coruscant, wrapped up in politics and debating with the Senators. She travels the galaxy, helping the people and growing the Republic with her great works, like Starlight Beacon and the Republic Fair. This Republic is a government unlike anything we've ever seen in Star Wars. It's not corrupt like the Republic of the prequel trilogy, not tyrannical like the Empire, and not complacent like the New Republic. Obviously, the Easter eggs aren't enough to make anyone pick up a story on its own, but they are great additions to the stories. There are familiar Jedi who we've previously seen in the prequel trilogy, like Yoda and Yariel Poof, and recent comics and books by the High Republic authors have featured familiar technology or planets like various Jedi temples. This publishing initiative has barely started, with the first of three phases not even done yet. The first phase is full of promising material, including nine books, an audiobook, multiple comics, a manga, and more. There's plenty of content to choose from, and the story is sure to escalate quickly. The Rising Storm ended with an emotional and pivotal development, and I haven't heard any complaints about the overall story of the High Republic so far. The High Republic is a unique story away from the known galaxy. Set away from the Skywalker saga, the era shows the Republic and the Jedi at their best, protecting the people of the galaxy rather than the corrupt and strict nature of the two during the prequels. There's plenty of content to choose from depending on how you like to read, with different mediums to consume the story, different genres, and different difficulties depending on the preference. Whether you're into action-packed adult novels, middle grade novels about teamwork, or comics full of mysteries, there's something in this era for everyone. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on social media, and comment down below what content you'd like to see in the future. As always, thank you all for watching, and remember... The Force will be with you. Always.